Yeah, they got the message. I didn't realize you had a background as a fighter. Oh, yeah. When I was younger, I was a, a AAU champion, uh, junior, um, um, amateurs, <clears throat> and Golden Glove runner-up. That's legitimate boxing credentials. Yeah. You can That's box? just dabbling. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I box all the time. I hear. I hear you like to get out. Yeah. yeah. So you just, you how long, so you did that your whole childhood? Yeah. Yeah, I was a 90-pound champion. Wow. Yeah. Do you still move around or no? Nah? I do. I do. I move around. You got the bug, it, right? It, it, it doesn't go away. No, I don't. I love the exercise. I love the uh, the workout. Yeah. Yeah. What about MMA shit? You watch any of that stuff? A little bit of it, you know. A more, bit. more into the sweet science. <laughs> yeah, more into the sweet science. And yeah. So old school then. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about the boxers of today? Uh good. Uh, um, um, I'm looking to see some more exciting fighters now. You know, um, since Mayweather's out, um, you know, you got a few of them. Um, Andre Ward, you know, he's the future of it. Yeah. You know, and uh, a couple of. Uh, Kagak, Kagak, what's his name? Triple G. Yeah, Triple it's the G. The easiest way to do it. That's how I do it. <laughs> yeah. So you got a few, few cats that I think Canelo and all of them that are, that are good. Yeah, he's an exciting looking guy. Yeah. I like just watching that dude do pad work before a fight. It's yeah. crazy how hard that dude punches just on, just these jabs. Everything he does, it's got a different sound on it. Right, right. It's exciting. It's exciting just to watch him hit pads because I'm like, man. This guy in the ring is just going to be terrifying. Right. It's going to be an excited... I'm excited to watch any fight that that guy's in. And which I'm saying something, because for a while there, I just didn't care about boxing anymore. Right. I sort of felt like it's a point game, and I can respect... Sort of like jujitsu to me. There's like, if you train it enough, you can understand the level and how cool it is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't getting hit and you're not getting hurt, I don't I don't care as much. Mm -hmm. So, and I feel like some people are so good at getting out of the way that I'm bored. Mm -hmm. You're too fucking good. Nobody can touch you. Mm -hmm. I need to. I need to see you get hit. I mean, it's terrible that you're getting hit, but you signed up for that. You're all right. Right. Do you get hit a lot when you starting when you're young, man? Getting hit in the head a lot. Yeah, I got hit. I mean, I got hit. Everybody does. You have to. I got out. Actually, I got out of the boxing game when I got my eye swollen. My mother saw my eye and she was like, "Oh no, that's it. That's enough." Just from one swollen eye. <laughs> yeah, my eye was like this. How old were you when you retired? Oh, when I retired for boxing? Yeah. Oh, I had to be probably 16, maybe. Do you ever watch the Golden Gloves fights now? Because it's, it's you're watching two 12-year-olds squaring off and socking yeah. each other. It's, it's, it feels totally normal when you're 12, but when you're an adult watching that, it feels like it should be illegal. Wow. Man, wow. on Instagram, there's video. I see people, kids that are 11 and 12 that really know how to fight. And they will light each other up. They got headgear on, but it's been scientifically proven that headgear doesn't do shit. Mm -hmm. And those guys, you know, I mean, there's there's cro coaches slash fathers mm -hmm. in the background yelling like, you know, move your head or pop this, pop that. And I'm like, man, yeah. I, you know, I mean, as a guy that gets punched in the head a lot, who now doesn't get punched in the head as much because of how much information there is out there, and I'm like, man. I've been knocked out from skateboarding and riding dirt bikes, and now I, you know, I go to the gym and get slugged in the face all day. I'm like, man, I should probably ease off on the whole getting hit in the face. And then I go on Instagram, and there's two 11 year olds lighting each other up, and they yeah. look like they're so good that this is not their first day. They've been lit up for since they were. I don't even know. Yeah, you might not even get a chance to get your brain to grow. Yeah, you bash yourself stupid before you got smart. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you, you don't do that you, do you have like a coach you hit pads and shit oh uh, now yeah I just hit pads and stuff like that yeah you do it all the time do you do any of that stuff do, does that stuff do you add that to when you do stand up my workout like no before you go out to do stand up is there like a thing that is in your head like you're gonna you're, you're in like a certain mode to well, do to be at your best well, just to be funny and just to remember my show and, and go out there and give the people the best that I can give them. What, is there a switch that comes on for this shit or what? Well, I mean, it's, when it's time to do it, there's no turning back. You just got to get ready so the switch better come on. <laughs> Has it ever not come on? No, no. That switch comes on every night. It has to come on. And then after it, switch off? Switch off, yeah. I take it down. How long does it take? 
uh, for the switch to go off. No, just come off. Like when you leave the stage, are you still like? I'm still ramped up. I'm. Right. It takes me a while to eat. It takes me a while just to come down because right. my adrenaline and my energy is still right. up. So, so it just takes me a while, maybe about a couple of hours. So you're gonna do this thing with Will Smith. And Will Smith, since the last time you did stuff with him, are you always in touch with him? Or is this like a no. recent reunion kind of thing? Is yeah, We talk every now and then, you know, a couple of times, you know, yeah. throughout the year, you know. Do you think that he's changed? Uh, changed f as far as... I mean, you know, his career and where he's gone and... and I'm he's sure. He's had, he's had an amazing career and a lot of success and everything else so I'm sure some things have changed with, with him for the better you sound like you don't know him that well though we don't hang These out days. we don't right. yeah we don't hang out or anything like that no. did you when you were doing the bad boys things because you guys seem like no we just got we have real good chemistry and things like that but we've never hung out 